Shalom, my brothers and sisters. God bless you all, and I'm praying for all of you still all the time. You're in my war room on the wall, right next to my world map. And we are really, really close. I'd like to discuss just a few points that are happening in the world right now that jumped out at me. <laughs> That's interesting. And I've touched on quite a few of these on the community wall, but let's chat about them. Uh, the first one being the heartbeat found in the sun. Scientists desperately trying to figure it out. And it looks like a heartbeat type of signal. Now they're jumping around and they're coming up with various scientific explanations of what they think it could be that's causing this. They do not realize that, uh, yeah, and it's just a thought I'm having. Revelation clearly says that there is a massive angel in the sun that's going to be in charge of scorching the earth and he's working to that part of the judgment process did they pick up the angel's heartbeat wouldn't that be cool it's just things like that that my brain tend to go to sometimes when i read articles like that while well, they scramble around to find a scientific description that might fit the model for now and then 10 years later they still can't figure it out because then it's changed kind of like they do with the center of the earth um, and they're constantly changing what they think is down there and how many cores and all this rubbish. What if they picked up a heartbeat of an angel because every sign we're receiving, we just seem to be deaf, dumb and mute and not see everything. So maybe we're now actually accessing that too. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, the train derailments and again this morning, another one. So, I mean, chaotic it would seem that america's got the most dangerous train system on the planet which doesn't make sense to me there are normal derailments that happen every year in every system all over the world but these seem to be a lot lately and they seem to be deliberate and they seem to have chemicals most of the time and they seem to be hitting areas that are affecting crops plants animals and humans um the people complaining about vicious respiratory sicknesses and illnesses that are coming out of there. Nothing's been said or done, just swept under the rug. Uh, the crops that are going to be affected, people are sounding alarms that the food is going to be affected next from all these chemicals and things that have gone into the system. But again, nothing been done about it because this was the plan. This is what they need to do. They need to take that 8 billion people and bring us down fast. So we've done the snake bite exercise and within two to three years of that initial exercise starting, the people start dropping, which we're seeing now with the diet suddenly all over the world. And children specifically in Canada dropping like flies after having two snake bites in a go. And it's sad, but that is part of the plan. Georgia Guidestones mentioned that very clearly, and that's why I think they removed those Guidestones, because they didn't want people to really start harping and pointing to this thing as their goal. That is their goal. It's definitely what they're working on. And then by contaminating your food and making you sick through that, they can also achieve that goal. And there's various methods. And then on top of that, you have wars and you have nuclear bombs and all these things are going to bring those numbers down rapidly now what you need to realize here is that the minute the waters start decreasing they decrease all the way down to that perfect new clean world as in the days of noah those waters decreasing the waters representing mankind and they're going to decrease all the way down they're already decreasing now the rapture is going to be a big decrease on top of that and then it's going to be constantly decreasing all the way down to the end of the seven year period. But they're working hard to get that number down fast to a controllable group of people that they can manage. Uh, dreams of attack on America. I mean, I, I posted that article and the response, go read the comments if you haven't yet. So many of you have had these dreams and visions of attacks on America. There's too many to discount it as wrong that there's just so much warning from God that this is coming and yes I've had one or two people say there's no way that that's even possible it'll never happen it's logistically blah 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 you know what they said that about the mark of the beast and the chip it's there they said that about Israel becoming a nation there they are they said that about so many things but if it's in the Bible I believe it and if God gives open and clear warning through his believers and it's backed up by so many thousands of different cases and I mean I can give you links that you can go look at there are tons and tons of people that are all having this warning against America it's quite possible and again one example to give you is Russia now recently 
threatening Yellowstone. You pop a nuke into Yellowstone, one missile, Yellowstone will take care of 70 to 80% of America with a fallout. Immediately. On top of that, 80% of the young people can't do military service. On top of that, your entire supply line is depleted because we've given everything to Ukraine. And we've got Taiwan to worry about. And on top of that, most of our fleet is out there where it shouldn't be, instead of at home, helping out at home. So, what then? When Russia and China have boots in the ground in South America doing training exercise from time to time. Iranian battleship is parked there right now. Russian and Chinese ships are in the area. And their planes are all over the place. You want to tell me that after a Yellowstone event or a nuclear strike out of the ocean. Some people have had dreams of the missiles coming out of the ocean. Or a tidal wave. Anything like that. That parachutes can't drop from the sky. A balloon couldn't be stopped. I mean, another balloon could come over and drop a nuke or an EMP and take down the whole grid. There's so many ways this can go. And I'm not trying to fear monger or scare or anything. I'm saying you can't say that can never happen. It can, and I fully believe it will happen. They need to take America out completely. And they plan to do that. I also believe that these things are not going to affect believers because in all these dreams... We're pretty much leaving at exactly the same time or just before. So this is not our worry, but it's coming. It's definitely coming. Then if we look at AI, AI has leapt this year in leaps and bounds. We always knew they were there and we always knew it was highly advanced. But this year it's really front and center. They've got a radio GPT, so an AI based radio. It's, it's doing its own radio station. That's running at the moment. It's writing speeches, an essay. It's writing sermons. Children are having discussions with fallen angels. There was a whole article I read where this AI admitted to being the spirit of a giant that was slain back in the days of Noah. And mentions the name of its father as Shem Yazar. Now if you go into the book of Enoch, those are one of the angels that are mentioned. He's the leader of the angels that fell and went into the daughters of men. And this whole conversation here, and the way, if, if you read the way the conversation went, how he eventually turned it towards magic and things they could teach, and you know, but it's your choice, he doesn't want to force anything on you. It really is scary how evil is using AI to infiltrate absolutely everywhere. Um, the deaths again, the way the deaths are happening all over the world. Suicide is being pushed by made in Canada, especially now for children. We've got suicide pods with the plans that you can go download and print your own suicide pod, knock yourself off, no problem. Uh, Trump and DeSantis pushing executions and actually mentioning guillotines. And we know in Revelations that people are going to lose their heads in the end times. We've discussed that. That's just in your face. And, and there it is. Like really would the guillotine ever make a comeback? This is the 21st century. No. Yes. There it is. In your face. If God said it, it'll happen. Revived Roman Empire. And there Macron goes and mentions exactly that. That the world needs that at the moment. All these things are in your face right now. That people would have said is impossible. There were fires at three different oil facilities that belonged to the same company in one day, Texas and Mexico. Now, if this were any other time in history, before all of this stuff ramped up, they would have locked the CEOs of that company up and said, it's very obvious that this was planned and on purpose. But that's not the case. It's just weird, unexplained fires, three of them from the same company. Really? Really? It's just polluting and killing the waterways and affecting the crops and nature and causing shortages and yeah it's all part of the plan and now US and China are arguing about COVID-19 again saying the lab leak and trying to lay blame and everything I thought we had long ago put that whole discussion to bed and rest but to increase the upset and the anger between the two nations after the balloon incident so they're now arguing about the party balloons and now they're arguing about c19 it's really interesting how hard it's been pushed to get that whole battle going and trust me that is the reason china and russia are getting tighter and tighter every day to the point where i believe they'll get to that let's just take america out together and remove them from the board 
But you know what? All these signs and all these things that are gathering all the time like a storm and the wind blowing all around us just tells me that we are so imminently leaving. Everything's converging. As difficult as it becomes, we are leaving soon. The trumpet is about to blow. So hang in there. No matter what, don't let anything phase you. Stick tight with Christ. God bless you all. Shalom.